Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story is brought to us by Owen. Hey Owen, he sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And do you know what makes stories way more fun? Yeah, listening to stories with friends. So parents, right now, it would mean so much to me if you thought of two friends to share this episode with. We all know that parents could always use more screenless options of entertainment, and so I'm sure your friends would love this story as well. You can always text them the direct uh, link to this show or the story from any platform like Spotify or Apple Podcasts or anything like that. Well, are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day in Owen's backyard. So you know what that means, right? Yes, it's time to go play outside and do something epic. Well, Owen, he was working on his fort. Have you ever built a fort before? Yes, they're super fun to build, either with sticks and branches or anything that you can find outside. And he was making a base to hide in. His friends who lived next door both had walkie-talkies and they were starting to talk to each other. Shh, guys, how is your base coming along? This is Owen, over. Shh. Hey, Owen, yeah, our base is coming along great. Well, uh, keep an eye out because I think the bad guys are close. Over. Shh. Owen had been working on this fort with his friends for a long time and it was really cool to have walkie-talkies that they could talk to each other from their own forts. Do you guys like to use walkie talkies? Oh, (laughs) of course. Those are super fun toys to play with. Hey, Owen. That was his mom shouting. What? What's going on? Well, could you go down the street? There's a whole bunch of commotion going on at the other side of the neighborhood. Everyone's talking about free puppies. Free puppies? Shouted Owen. Holy smokes! Is there really free puppies? Owen grabbed his walkie-talkie to talk to his friends. Guys, did you hear that there's free puppies on the other side of the neighborhood? Shh. What are you talking about, Owen? They said. Shh. I don't know, but let's go check it out. Owen and his friends grabbed their bikes and rode as fast as they could to the other side of the neighborhood. And sure enough, there it was, a sign that said free puppies. The whole neighborhood had gathered around and everyone wanted their own puppy. Owen and his friends all picked out their own fluffy puppy. Oh my goodness, do you like puppies? Oh, they're so fun and fluffy. Whoa, and then when they give you a big kiss on the cheek, ah, it's pretty silly. Owen was so excited to bring his puppy home. He put the puppy in the front basket of his bike and they rode home together. Riff, riff. Oh, I'm so excited. What am I going to name you? Said Owen. Hmm, should I name him Ralph? Or Buddy? Um, or Hoover? Yeah, let's call you Hoover. Riff, riff. The puppy looked excited at his new name. As they got home, Owen showed his family the puppy that he picked out, and they were all very excited. They had never had a pet before. Do you have a pet? Maybe like a dog or a cat or another creature? Maybe like a bird or a lizard? Yeah, pets are really fun to have because it's kind of fun to play with a creature, and and it's really good to take care of our creatures, right? Yeah, we feed them or clean them. Yes, it's a big responsibility to have a pet. And Owen was up for the job. Over the next several days, this puppy named Hoover was acting a little strange. You see, most puppies, they eat food and and go potty, right? Yes, well, this puppy did not Hey, Owen, said his dad. 
Uh, has Hoover eaten anything? Or it, he just seems kind of strange. Yeah, I know what you mean, Dad, said Owen. Uh, I don't think he's eaten anything, but he still looks very happy. Well, why don't you go check on him right now, said his dad. Hoover! Hoover! shouted Owen. He couldn't find Hoover anywhere. Uh, Hoover! He ran upstairs. He wasn't in his bedroom, and he wasn't in the playroom, and he went downstairs, and... Wait a second. What is that? There was a cable that was plugged into the wall that was not normally there. And it was running all the way to the back room and... Hoover! Oh no! What's wrong? Somehow, this cable that was plugged into the wall was attached to Hoover. So, wait. Wait, what in the world? As Hoover turned around, he started to beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Oh no, I don't think Hoover's a normal puppy. He's a robo puppy! Dun, dun, dun! Owen had learned about robo puppies in spy training. You see, one of the ways that Purple Ninjas and Dr. Stinky Breath are trying to take over the world, well, there's all kinds of ways, but one of them is through robo puppies. Robot puppies would be the easiest way to infiltrate all the families because who wouldn't want a free puppy? But it's actually not a real puppy. That's why he's not eating food or going potty like a normal puppy. What is Owen going to do? All right, I got to call this into HQ. Owen ran to his bedroom, which is where all of his spy gear was. He grabbed his walkie. HQ, HQ, come in. This is Owen. Over. Owen, what's going on? You sound like there's a problem. Yes, there is a problem. uh, It's hard to explain, but somehow I got this puppy and I thought it was a real puppy, but it's actually a robo puppy. A robo puppy, said HQ. Oh, no. Sounds like one of Dr. Stinky Breath's evil plans. We're going to send a team as... Are there any other puppies? Yes, my entire neighborhood was given free robo puppies. We we thought it was a real puppy, but everyone in my neighborhood now has a robo puppy. Are they in trouble? Yes, Owen, said HQ. We need you to go door to door to make sure that everyone locks their robo puppies in like a bathroom because That robo puppy is there to spy on them. You're running out of time, Owen. You must act fast. And just like that, Owen ran out his door and went door to door. He had a hard time convincing everybody that their puppies were actually robots. But after he showed them the cable that would connect to the puppies, everyone panicked. Some of them even passed out. (sighs) Oh dear, this is quite a mess that Owen has got to save the day. Well, he spent the rest of the day convincing the entire neighborhood about these evil robo puppies. Everyone locked them up in their bathrooms and HQ was there in just a few minutes. They had to get rid of all these robo puppies before these robo puppies learned all of every family's secrets. Great job, Owen! You saved the city and all of the world from those cute, adorable puppies that weren't actually puppies. <gasps> Holy smokes. I hope I don't get offered a free robo puppy because I might not be able to say no to it because they're probably so cute. Well, Owen, great job. And that is the end of today's adventure. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Leon from New York, Alessandra from Hong Kong, Nathan and Olivia from New Zealand, Levi and Sadie from Ottawa, Canada, Theo and Orlando from Melbourne, Australia, 
Wilder from San Diego, and Landon and Amelia from California. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his team without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.